Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is an exciting video because we are going to be discussing yet another ColourPop release. This is their new collection featuring their new nine pan eyeshadow palette, which is one of the most anticipated colors that they've done in their nine pan eyeshadow palette. It is a yellow palette. So everyone was asking for a yellow monochromatic eyeshadow palette and they finally, finally released it along with some other new things in a collection. So I did go ahead and get the entire bundle just because I wanted to try out a lot of new things from ColourPop that I've never tried out before. But the main focus is going to be this eyeshadow palette because everyone and their mom wanted this yellow eyeshadow palette. And so I was so excited to see that they finally released it and I was excited to get it and see how it would work on my skin tone so we are going to be discussing this bad boy today and also um, for the entire kit it did come with a here we glow again face bundle which includes some fourth ray beauty skincare products so I got that because I've never tried any of fourth ray beauty's items it also came with a little loose pigment duo so it has two yellow colored loose pigments and then it also came with a brush bundle which is called catch some sun so I got that as well. And then these were not a part of the bundle but I wanted to try out more of ColourPop's pigments because from swatches their pigments look amazing. So I did get three of their loose pigments and I know Kathleen Lights did a collaboration with them for loose pigments but these are just their regular line of pigments so I got Elysian which is like a bronzy copper pigment I got love me harder which is sort of like a pinky champagne rosy color and then I also got deep in which is a rose gold I didn't use those today but I just wanted to let y'all know that I got some of their pigments so everything that I got from the little yellow bundle that they had I'm gonna be using all of these things today so here we glow again face bundle since it is skincare I wanted to go ahead and try this out a couple of days before this video just so I can get like a really good review on their skincare products since skincare first impressions aren't really helpful to me anyway so yes um, this is what the actual skincare items look like so you get a glow up face oil and then you get a turmeric I think I'm saying that right face milk and both of these are supposed to be meant to brighten your skin and clear your skin over time you know minimize your pores and all of that good stuff and usually when products are marketed as face oils or face milks I stay away from them because they're too hydrating sometimes too greasy I have oily skin so I don't need like extra 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 moisturizing products on my skin so I wanted to try these out and see how I like them and I have been using them since I actually got the bundle in which was a few days ago and this stuff is actually really good. I really do like both the face oil and the face milk. I did use them today underneath my makeup and I have been using them every day just to give them a chance and see how they would work on my skin. So it tells you to apply two to three drops into the palms of your hands, warm it up, and then press it into your skin. And that is exactly how I've been using it because I don't want to overdo it with these products. They do come with a little dropper applicator and so I just go ahead and let three drops go into the palm of my hand and then I press it into my skin and I really do feel like they have like brightened up my skin it doesn't look as dull when I'm not wearing any makeup so I do like these so far that I've been using them and then the little skincare bundle also came with a new lippy scrub this is their squeeze the day lemon scented lippy scrub and I actually really like this I'm used to my like lippy scrubs being more abrasive but this one is just a little bit creamier a little bit softer not as abrasive but I really really like that I just put a little bit on my lips and then I rubbed it around and then wiped it off with a clean paper towel and my lips did feel really like renewed and really soft and so this is actually really good as well so the here we glow again face bundle was really nice and i definitely recommend it if you've never tried any of their skincare products or their lippy scrubs so everything else I'm going to actually show you guys the demo of me using but just to give like a little mini review before we get into the demo 
First things first with the Aha uh -huh Honey palette, they changed things up. Like ColourPop has really been like changing up the game. So they did include a pressed glitter in this nine pan eyeshadow palette, which this is the first pressed glitter that they've included in any of their little monochromatic nine pan eyeshadow palettes. Now that glitter does say on the back that it's not intended for use in the immediate eye area and ColourPop has to put that uh, disclaimer on there. Even though they use cosmetic grade glitter, they still have to put that disclaimer on there that it's not safe for the immediate eye area because no glitter, cosmetic craft, anything, no glitter is safe for you to use around your eye area because it can get into your eyes and irritate your eyes. So they have to put that disclaimer on there just to cover their bases. I still use the glitters on my eyes because ColourPop does use cosmetic grade glitter, which means it's not sharp. It's not supposed to scratch your eye or anything like that. So um, I use their glitters all the time. I've never had a problem with them. I have the glitter on right now and I think I should be fine with it. It's definitely a personal preference, so you should use at your own risk. Like I said, I've been using glitters like cosmetic glitters for years and have never had a problem with my eyes so I'm going to keep using their glitters and I do appreciate the fact that they actually put that disclaimer on there saying that it's not safe or it's not intended not that it's not safe but that it's not intended for use around your immediate eye area because they really are covering their bases like they should but um, as for the palette, so when you look at it, you get an array of mattes and shimmer shades all in varying tones of yellow. And I'm not going to lie, I was really excited for this palette. But then the more I looked at it, the more I was like, I wonder how this is going to work on my skin tone because yellow is already a really soft color. It's very bright, but it's not super, super intense and pigmented. And so I was just a tad, tad bit worried about how it was going to show up on my eyes. But to be honest, I used the new Anastasia Eye Primer that they just came out with. And it's like a really like kind of stark white base. It's not super, super white. It does have a little bit of a tint to it, but it really is a like stark kind of base. And that's what I use on my eyes today. And I feel like it really did make the colors more intense and gave them more color payoff. Because like I said, yellow is still more of a soft type of color. So like you really have to kind of pack it on if you want it to show. And then also with this palette, I feel like, you know, you would have to use deeper shades if you're trying to take this look darker because this deep shade right here which is called buzzkill like this doesn't get super super dark you would definitely need more of a dark brown shade just because ColourPop makes these nine pan monochromatic eyeshadow palettes the way they do doesn't mean that you have to use just this palette to create an eye look you can definitely take shadows from other palettes and single eyeshadows to create a different type of look if you want to but just using this palette you're not going to get super super deep in color but I do like the look that I came up with today. I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look using this palette as well as these pigments as well as the brushes. So overall, I do really like the way the look came out. Just keep in mind that it's not gonna be a super, super dark look. And if you are of a deeper skin tone, in order for you to get some depth with your eye look, you're gonna have to use um, some darker, deeper shades, maybe even a black to kind of take it uh, a little bit darker. Other than that, I really like the shades in this palette. This color right here called Sunburst, that's what I have on the inner part of my lid. I did not expect, in the pan you can clearly see that it has sort of like a greenish blue shift to it, but I did not expect it to be this intense on my eyes. Like it really, really shows up with that greenish blue tint on the eyes um palooza i actually already have this as a single pan of glitter and i knew that it was beautiful so i just went ahead and popped that on my lid as well um i did not expect oh behave to be the mustardy type of color that it is i did use that on the inner part of my eye and it's a really really uh deep mustard color especially on my skin tone so 
I was really shocked at how that shade came out. But um, everything in here is so pretty. I can't wait to dip into Queen Bee and Dandy. These colors look like they would be so beautiful on the lid. Unfortunately, I couldn't put all the colors on my eyes today. Um, I really wanted to try out these pigments as well. So for the pigment bundle, you get the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Collaboration Pigment in The Lion which is basically just like a it's like a, a really shimmery gold color so pretty it has so much shimmer to it it is gorgeous i used this on top of a glitter primer today and it was beautiful and then you get full for you pigment eyeshadow which is basically just like a shimmery bright yellow and this one also like the color sunburst this one kind of has a little bit of like blue shimmer to it it's really hard to pick up but it does have like a blue shift of shimmer inside of it i love these pigments i did not expect them to be this good like the intensity on my eyes is incredible i did not expect the pigments to be this good and then as for the brushes i definitely can see myself reaching for these brushes more when i do other eye looks because they just really worked well for this eye look they weren't too flimsy and they weren't too stiff i feel like they deposited color onto my lid fine i used this flat packing brush for the pigments I use this brush, which reminds me of the Morphe M433 to put color on my outer corner and blend it into my crease. This blending brush is everything. It is the perfect size for blending eyeshadows in your crease. And this one, I think this is a face brush because this is the number F12. So I think this is meant to be used on the face, but I use this to really pack on the yellow shade on my crease. And it was just overall these brushes are really really good this is a great little brush set to go ahead and pick up if you're wanting to try some of their brushes i think it was really really good that is everything you guys i just wanted to give y'all like a little mini review and first impressions of how i felt about using these products for the first time since a lot of these things i've never tried from ColourPop. Well, all of these things I've never tried from ColourPop because they're brand new, but I'm saying I've never tried any of their pigments or their brushes or anything like that. So yeah, now we're going to get into this eye look and I hope you guys enjoy it and possibly get some inspiration for you to use with your Uh Huh Honey palette. So let's get right into it.
So that wraps up this video using ColourPop's newest 9 pan monochromatic eyeshadow palette as well as some more products from their bundle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and hit that bell notification so that you are notified every single time that I upload a video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.